Smoke bombs on the streets of The Hague. Hundreds of Dutch protesters vent their fury as the country is ordered back into a partial lockdown. The Netherlands shares a similar vaccination rate to Australia and had lifted most restrictions in September. But overnight, leaders ordered a three-week partial lockdown, the first Western European country to do so as it battles a new surge of cases. We need these three weeks to implement new measures which will help delay the spread of the virus. You can, test. you can be tested, but if people refuse to be vaccinated, eventually you will need stricter rules. So I'm completely in favour of it, even though it is a shame to have a lockdown. Hospitalisation rates are up and testing rates are steady, but the appetite for going back into lockdown is low. I was quite tired of working at home, uh, sitting uh, on the attic uh, behind my <laughs> laptop, so uh, I'm not looking forward to, for, to a new lockdown, I'm afraid. Singapore, like Australia, boasts one of the highest vaccination rates in the world and had planned for a phased reopening once 80% of the population were fully dosed. But Singapore is now grappling with its steepest curve of infections and deaths so far. Daily case numbers have risen from double digits in August to more than 5,000. The government now saying unvaccinated patients will have to pay their own way for hospital treatment. We have to send this important signal to urge everyone to get vaccinated if you are eligible. It's a signal too of waning rates of protection for countries that vaccinated their population early. 76% of all Danish residents are double dosed. But the Danish government, which had downgraded the virus as no longer a socially critical disease, was forced into a U-turn as cases jumped to numbers not seen since last year. It's also reinstated a COVID passport that had been phased out. Governments grappling with surges that likely won't be their last. Jenny Lavelle, ABC News.